ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here again. Um, time for another, uh, what do you call these? I don't know, a proper pedal review. So my friend, Corey Wong, sent me his new pedal. It's this compression pedal, okay? Now, it's, it's with him and Wampler. Now check this out. I am 39 years old, okay? I'm about to tell you the God's honest truth. I'm 39 years old. I've been playing guitar my entire life, okay? I have never owned a compression pedal. I don't believe I've ever played a compression pedal. I don't even know what compression does. Not joking. Uh, I don't use it when I'm recording. Um, the whole idea of compression seems to be like the exact opposite thing I'd like to do with music. Um, I don't want to restrict my dynamic bandwidth, if you will. You know, I like zero to be inaudible and I like 10 to be breaking your strings and you want to feel everything in between. Um, the idea of having everything squashed between four and six seems uh, appalling. Um, and I don't even know if that's what it does or how it works or what this would be used for. But he sent me the pedal and, uh, and so I figured, you know, I'm going to, in real time, you're going to see me use a compression pedal in real time for the first time. Quick shout out to Robert Keeley. Robert, I know you sent me these two reverbs a minute ago and I haven't made a video. It's because I don't know what to make the video about. But I can tell you the Omni Reverb, okay, is fantastic. That's what I'm using for my clean sound here in the, um, in the uh, effects loop. So here's my clean sound. You know what? I don't really know what it's doing. Um, if I play super light, so the compressor's off now. And I turn it on. That brought it up a little bit. Now if I play super loud, now the compression's off. about the same. So it's bringing the floor up. So if you're doing little, you know, detecting much of a change in tone at all. Now it also has a boost button. Hopefully that's just a clean boost. Adds a little grit to it. All right. I mean, I, uh, let's turn this volume up. 
up on this thing. Let's go all the way and see what it does. All right, nothing's on. Compressor. seems a bit squashed you lose the ice pickiness and the you know the the uh, the stick and goes if you will with the hybrid you know that like all those little jab 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 you know they're less of a you know stab to the face if you will but i like that you know um the boost though is killer let's try it on the filthy channel we'll use a our humbuckers here. That's with nothing on it. Now we just do compression. Just the boost, so again, regular. I'm not putting one of these on my pedal board. Um, I don't have a pedal board. <laughs> um, the boost is great. Uh, that's one of the better boosts that I um, have played. Although, man, I, I really don't play a lot of gear. Um, but the compression, like, I don't know. Like, I hybrid pick for a reason. Like, if you're a hybrid picker, you want the stick and go. You want to go all the way ice pick. You want to go, like, where the strings are just rattling and you just hear the wood and the wire just, you know, meshing at a super low volume. Like, I don't know why uh, compression is a thing. Um, let me know in the comments. I know I'm going to get absolutely lambasted for this video. <laughs> Prop from Corey. Like, dude, why don't you just not make a video? Uh, but uh, you get what you get. Um, and I'm just going to leave it there. I mean, again, I got the volume all the way up. Let's turn everything up. Attack, tone, sustain, boost, blend. Let's just turn everything all the way up and hit the compression to see if then we can figure out what the hell it does. <laughs> surprise me um being that it's a wampler pedal because uh all the wampler pedals that i've had um 
have had tremendous sag. Again, some people love that stuff, you know? I, not me, you know I mean? I wanna be, you know, riding the rails the whole day. Um, but I will tell you this, I will tell you this, uh, one of you out there watching, if you want this pedal, I'll send it to you because I want it to go to good use. So drop a link in the comment or drop something in the comments um, about how you would actually use this thing. What it actually, like why it exists and why it would work for your band. And I'll pick one of you randomly and I'll just shoot it in the mail to you. Corey, thank you so much. I hope that uh, this video doesn't make us not friends anymore. But uh, that boost, that boost, the compression thing I don't get, but the boost um, was, was a very solid boost. It colored it just enough, gave it a little grit. I dug it, especially in the, in the crazy tones. Um, and again, Robert Keeley, thank you for sending me the reboot pedal. That's it. These are your very random, weird uh, gear reviews for me, for someone who doesn't buy gear or do reviews. <laughs> Try that boost one more time. sustain where you drive it just that amount where you can take you know a, a unison bend like that and let it bleed and have it turn into one note and have it just re-reverberate indefinitely that makes my non-existent pedal that's it i love you all so much take care be safe out there